Obviously, February 8th, 1990 has meaning. And on the eve of that, 30 years later, how are you doing? Hey, you know, you just got to keep taking one step forward. You just, you got to keep going. As much as, you know, as much as you'll never get over it, it'll never be the same. You just, you can't, you just can't stop breathing. Do you keep these dates in mind, the fact that it's February 7th? Yeah, they're in my mind. Uh, you know, uh, uh, they, yeah, they're in my mind. Do you so, remember? Do you remember February nineteen ninety still with with clarity? February nineteen ninety. That would have been the the, the winter that uh, everybody was yeah. looking for Amy. Uh, with clarity, I don't know. I, uh, that day, they, they, I can remember the day that they. Uh, I had found Amy and everybody met at the house, the uh, chief of police and uh, uh, one of the ministers and uh, one of the FBI guys. And uh, so, yeah. How surreal was that getting the call? Because I know you had said previously that prior to that, you were you were prepared for that news. But actually getting the news had to be uh, yeah. no one's really prepared for that. You're never prepared for something like that. You, you, you think you are, but you, you, you can't you, you can't get uh, you know, like I say, you just don't ever get prepared for that. Right. What have these past few months been like? I mean, people have been on on the anniversary of what would have been her fortieth birthday, and now looking yeah. at this, what what have the past few months been like? Kind of reliving that winter with all of the interest back in Amy again, front well, and center. Know, it's, it's just, um, yeah. First thing is, I, you know, I, I don't know how. Uh, how I, I, how appreciative I can be of everybody keeping her name out in the in the forefront and uh, and uh, doing this, but uh, uh, I, I didn't answer your question. But uh, uh, are are there signs of hope? Do you do you have a renewed sense oh, of hope? Oh yeah, oh you bet. I uh, just hope I live long enough to see uh, conclude it because it's going to happen. I hope so, and I believe so too. Have, have, yep. have investigators been in contact with you in any kind of a new way that they hadn't been before? Uh, not a new way. Uh, we got a call from the uh, FBI agent, uh, Phil Torsney, here a couple weeks ago. He said he was coming into town. I, I don't know if he was here or not. He never did call me, which is, you know, he's, he's on a t- time frame of uh, track and stuff. So, But I, he still was like, hey, I'm checking in with you. Make sure you're doing fine. Yeah. And how are you doing? I'm doing as well as I can do, I guess. I don't know. Is there a little bit of, um, I guess, nerves about tomorrow? Thinking it, it's February. It's it's been thirty years. I guess we measure things in years, and then we measure them yeah. in decades. Do you anticipate anything being different tomorrow? Uh, you know, uh, when you. You know, when you look forward uh, to something, it looks like the day you'll never get there. But when you look back, then it makes it come in to feel like it was yesterday. Mm-hmm. So, I don't know. It's just uh, looking back seems quick and looking forward seems long. Yeah. Has has it felt like 30 years? Oh, uh, no. No, I'm still 42 years old. When you think about what happened. Yeah. Right. Well, that's interesting. Well, the best we can do, at least from where we're at, is to, to keep the story out there, to keep her name out there, to keep people well, looking, to that. keep people, to keep people, because really her story touched so many people in the community and oh, continues yeah. to as yeah. adults. And yeah. Yeah. people won't we're give just, up. We were just talking, uh, the guy who I went to pick up the car, we were talking about how, you know, on Halloween that year, the kids weren't allowed, a lot of kids were kept in the house and not allowed to go trick or treating and, uh, uh, everybody was afraid. Uh, his stepdaughter at the time was probably about the when I gathered about the same age as Amy. She was, uh, and he lives in uh, Grafton, I think. Um, but she was terribly scared to go out, and uh, it affected so many people. Mm-hmm. It still does, as as people parent, is 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 you know people who are kids at the time, and even how they parent today. Yes, yeah, all right. Well, There's I a whole new generation, Drew. It really does. Is there is there anything else you want to say or you want people to know? Is you know we, we kind of share Amy's story one more time. Well, no, just just uh, you know I can't be more thankful for them being keeping uh, Amy's uh, case alive and um, and it's gonna be a, uh, it's gonna be solved.